My name is Joe Testa, and I have been guiding for unofficially since 2010, officially since 2014. So I grew up fishing. I probably was introduced to fishing at an age of about three or four from my grandpa. We lived, uh, he lived on the intercoastal waterway in Florida, right off the Bocasiega Bay. He lived on a, on tr a treasure island off of a little finger and we spent a lot of time sitting on the dock fishing. The intrigue probably for me with fishing was just to be with my grandpa and I think I just enjoyed all of it. We would, we would catch these fish, we'd put them in a bucket and then the next morning we'd feed them to the pelicans, which I'm sure is frowned upon, but you know, just that whole experience was really kind of just mesmerizing for me. I just really fell in love with the whole thing. And a lot of the reason we branded the business Freshwater Therapy was because of the, just the whole idea that I can have all this anxiety and stress in my life and then I'm on the water and I just forget it all. And I think God made water to be refreshing. I mean, you know, there's a famous Psalm, Psalm 23 that says, uh, where David says, uh, he leads me beside quiet waters, he restores my soul. I just think that's the feeling I have when I'm on, on the boat or even when I'm uh, walking a stream and fly fishing. Um, it, it's just this very life-giving experience for me. So we've got technology today that pretty much puts us on fish. I mean, it, we can see the fish eat our bait. Um, we've got mapping software. You know, there's all kinds of technology now that makes it so that we can catch all these fish. And so I feel like our scenario with the present is we have to be more conscious of like how we're managing our resource uh, than we ever have been because I think there's a lot really at stake. I mean these These fish can be over harvested you fish any inland lake and you take all of the or a lot of the fish that you're catching that are the you know more of the um, The brood stock the, the the ones that are going to actually be the reproducers and you end up I think damaging the resource and so <clears throat> we practice a lot of catch and release as it relates to um, the smallmouth and largemouth on this lake and even back home when we're fishing walleyes, we, we've really decided that we want to, you know, if we're going to keep some fish, uh, some walleyes to harvest, to eat, we're going to let a lot of fish go. And so, um, you know, it may not be something that a lot of people are excited about, but I really think the guides and the charter captains are the ones that are kind of the gatekeepers for these resources. I mean, we're the ones who spend a lot of time on the water. We're the ones that are taking lots and lots of people out, and so we want to be the ones that are setting an example as well for the other fishermen. That was really good. That's something that, again, we just put a high value in, is, is having people have a great experience while they're with us.